Gumi has been arrested finally. International community had already called on the federal government to arrest Gumi. Some have, has, have, have told the government to ask him, you know, call him for questioning. I think that was done um, when Buhari was in power. And all of a sudden, we learned that uh, the DSS invited him, but he said, oh, nobody invited him. But now that the international community uh, has come out to say this man is causing chaos in Nigeria. And what we are hearing now, he has been arrested or whether he has been called for questioning and all of that. I think uh, the best thing is for him to be arrested, not only to question him or to invite him. Because it is because of the outcry of many people, both nationally and internationally. That is the reason why Tinubu's government is trying to make it seem as if they are doing something. It's unfortunate that they needed... They have to be reminded before they do this. It's just unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. Well, the president, Bola Tinumbu, led Nigerian government says it has invited Kaduna based Islamic cleric Ahmad Gumi over his comments on the activities of bandits in the country. The Minister of Information and Orientation, Mohammed Idris, disclosed this while addressing journalists at the State House Abuja on Monday. Idris said Gumi was not above the law, noting that the government had deemed it necessary to invite him for questioning. Sahar reporters reported that March 21st, on March 21st, how Gumi noted that the Niger Delta region was relatively peaceful because after the Nigerian government granted amnesty to militants, adding that the same method must be applied to bandits currently ravaging the country. Gumi had noted that the Nigerian military had been hard on bandits with the approach it used to win the war against banditry in the northern parts of the country. Speaking on Daily Trust X Space Conversation titled, Where Will There Be an End to Nigeria's Recurring Abductions? He had noted that both the Army and Air Force troops launched group and airstrikes that killed the bandit families, wives and children which have angered them as they see it as war. He had said, to them military, they are fighting a war. Honestly, the military has been very hard on them. The Air Force is killing their families. Insisting on socio-economic methods, the scholar said, when you think of synergy, you can't rule out the military, but there has to be synergy. Let the non-kinetic approach be in the front. When it fails, then the kinetic can come in. And in fact, it will come in a better position or a better position because the non kinetic approach will give access to have a better intelligence, better knowledge, and with that kind of intensive engagement in negotiation. Gumi has, who has visited bandits in forests in number of times to negotiate the release of victims, have a similar, gave a similar occurrence of how from Ma President Musa Yaradwa gave amnesty to the oil rich Niger Delta militant, which stopped the kidnapping of expatriates. The scholar said, as militants destroy oil pipelines, then the bandits are also doing the same, preventing farmers from working on the farm, causing food insecurity, as well as abducting innocent children and women for ransom. The question they have to be need to be asking this man is that what have you told? How many advice have you given uh, the bandits? Well, Gumi, the hero of our time, since the days of Alaji Buhari, okay, oh, there are people who are not even supposed to be in the society at all. This man should be out behind bars. Everyone wouldn't fall. This is why they refuse to a good man to be our president. This type is among those who don't even mean well for the northerners. Let it be arrested, oh, hmm, please. It is long overdue. Let's see what will come out of it. Please bring him down to Lagos. A welcome development. Good move. He knows so much about them. Maybe by tomorrow now you hear that they release him. Shake. God protect you. Hey, hey. A welcome development. A welcome development. This is how it should be. It is about time. Good morning, Nigeria. He needs to be arrested. Sweet news. Let's see how it goes. Wow, good move, good move. Story, 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 story. Generator Republic. Papa Bandit, now we don't know. About time. <laughs> good decision. Remain Sheikh Musa Yusuf Asados. So now, use him as an example. This, is, this man is part of the problem of Nigeria. 
this is long overdue no security for questioning but federal government it is how to settle bandits hmm that is good he should be charged to court possibly sentence him to life imprisonment hmm. all this on the ground when you get him holding to confess he can't be innocent they know all of them know everything from Buario to Tinumbu to all the government officials they know what they are doing this story they know exactly what they are doing nobody should be deceiving nigerians he needs to stay in prison till that kingdom come in a same country this man should be cooling behind the back you know go even feel they do what they do because you know say nigeria just be as you get if you know you know go feel they do you know feel triumph hmm. this man should be jailed he knows everything about this guy he's not hiding it and the government knows that he knows we should remain there forever i'm very happy to hear this good news just this morning i was telling someone that is this man untouchable hmm. it's tinubu o'clock if tinubu can arrest the man then i will make him a little serious <laughs> so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this